Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Of Righteousness and Ritual, and our scripture is the prophecy of Amos, chapter 5. Yes, the day of the Lord will be dark and hopeless without a ray of joy or hope. I hate all your show and pretense, the hypocrisy of your religious festivals and solemn assemblies. I will not accept your burnt offerings and grain offerings. I won't even notice all your choice peace offerings. Away with your noisy hymns of praise. I will not listen to the music of your harps. Instead, I want to see a mighty flood of justice, an endless river of righteous living. Those really old and trite sayings that used to fall from your grandma's lips, you remember those, don't you? A stitch in time saves nine, waste not, want not, and so on. These survived because they're true, even the funny ones. I may have split my side laughing the first time I heard someone who was trying to help me understand that dressing up a failed project to look like a winner won't amount to more than a caricature of what was reality. The image that he used to illustrate was about lifting a pig from the muck of the pen and dressing it to the nines. In the end, it was still a pig bound to return to the muck. That old expression, you can put lipstick on a pig, but you still ain't going to kiss him, makes hilarious sense. Now, as funny as that may be, even about the cutest of pigs, when the speaker's voice is coming from the throne in heaven, the imagery fades, and we are the ones who must put on the lipstick and quietly, solemnly look in the mirror. The prophet Amos was a farm boy from Israel's sticks. Visiting the temple in Jerusalem must have been an eye-opening, jaw-dropping experience. The ritual of sacrifice was impressive, bloody, and totally without concern for the kind of life God wanted for his people. Talk about old sayings and truth. Amos must have been thinking, man, you can dot all the I's and cross all the T's and still misspell the word. Don't these people get it? It's told about Martin Luther, the great reformer of the 16th century, when he was still a Roman Catholic priest, he would go to confession, often, sometimes multiple times in a day, reconfessing the same old sins. His confessor, an older priest, would patiently hear the young priest, give him penance to do, and ritually assure the guilt-driven Martin Luther his sin was absolved. The forgiveness sometimes after breakfast might last until lunch and then it was back to the confessional. When the elder priest decided this routine had gone on long enough, he stopped Luther midway through his litany of the forgiven, unforgiven, and reforgiven sins once again being confessed. And he said to him, Martin, you either need to accept forgiveness for these same old sins or get some new ones. It seems the futility of the same old ritual had been swamped by Martin's trust in the nursery of his priest's protective absolution instead of Luther's call to the wild field of God's vineyard. It's safer to slip into easy forgiveness and forget the purpose of what we do, spreading the word and ministering healing to the lost and marginalized of our brethren. For you today, the church services with its rituals and routines serve God's purposes of keeping our eyes on his holiness and developing a doctrinal understanding of our responsibility to serve others. But if the ritual and routine and our comfort zone of being forgiven is all we seek, we have done worse than putting lipstick on a pig. We've begun to enjoy kissing him. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.